Adaptability is one of Dark Souls 2's most controversial features, and the game is kinda known to have the worst hitboxes in the whole series, but what exactly does the stat do? Well, adaptability or ADP boosts resistances and poise, but the more important effects are that it boosts the healing animations for Estus, all life gems, and divine blessings. And it also boosts iframes during rolling, which helps reduce the amount of bad hitboxes you experience in the game. Now, most people, including myself, find the inclusion of the stat to be extremely annoying due to having to waste levels in a stat that fixes some of the hitboxes in the game. And I would really much rather the hitboxes just be good in the first place so I can actually focus on other stats. Now, if you do any amount of research into Dark Souls 2, you're bound to find lots of people just saying some variation of just level ADP when met with complaints about the game's weird hitboxes. Even on my previous Dark Souls 2 video, there were a few people saying this. Down to one even timestamping my video where my stats showed for a whole 0.2 seconds. So, to truly see if ADP makes a huge difference like everyone makes it seem, I tried beating Dark Souls 2 while only leveling my adaptability so I can finally ascend to Godhood and properly dodge attacks. If you're new here and want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, you know, the, the, all, the, all the people talking shit in that, in that Dark Souls 2 video, man. Oh uh, yeah, just fucking, just level adaptability. So, so that's what we're gonna do. See if it's, uh, see if it's a better experience. Cause I totally have never leveled up adaptability and the hitboxes are still ass in this game. ADP Steve. There he is. I think we go warrior just because the, the we're gonna have the most access to the most amount of weapons with them. Yeah, that's about... Hey, hold on. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, that's ADP Steve right there, baby. That's him. Yeah, we'll give him we'll give him different hair because he's still it didn't randomize the hair. It, <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's ADP Steve right there. Yeah, there he is. That's him. I don't know what the fuck happened to his eyes, but you know. Now, yeah, my first my first plan. Okay, is to get the Tesla Dora set and then get the Silver Serpent Ring plus two. Just to maximize the amount of souls we can get. You gonna bleed? I'm not gonna get you. I won't get him. Uh, any blood. That, that's unfortunate, poor guy. Now, do I equip the whole set or just. Because I think the helmet's the least amount. Uh, it might be the gloves. But I think I, I want I want ADP Steve to have his face out, so I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't like Elden Ring. It's okay, I don't either, so it's fine. Like, I like it. I think it's a good game, but the boss fights just fucking suck. Like, the boss fights are terrible. And it's the same issue, like, when it comes to the boss fights in this game. Like, I just... There's not a single memorable fight in that game. Like, I... The hot take, alright? Hot take. I like Godskin Duo in the sense that it's the only fight that I like. I actually had to kind of try on because the game's really fucking easy, and I like their like their theme. Their theme goes hard, but good God, they dick ride the fuck out of each other. It's it's really annoying. Oh, I tried. Oh, ADP moment. Dude, if I had more ADP, that wouldn't have hit me. I see the vision. I see the vision. If I die to the Dragon Rider, I'm just gonna quit the run. I believe the Dragon Rider. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, cool. I have no choice now. Say it. Thank you. Alright. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but sure that worked. No, 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 no. Oh, you want to go to the corner, huh? Well, there you go. It's a unique spot. They they wanted the corner. They didn't they didn't want to go in the same spot as the, like the 90 other times I've done that. I, I you know I can respect that. You know. Here here we go. Oh my God, 19. I'm I'm almost at the soft cap. Dude, the hitboxes. I can already feel how good they are now. I can feel the iframes. 
Now all those shitty hitboxes that happened during that fight, if I refought him with this amount of adaptability, it wouldn't have gotten hit. Dude, oh my god. Holy shit, you see that 22? Actually, I'm gonna go to the forest just so I can get the key, just so I can start leveling up the weapon. Oh yeah. Hey, sir. Hey. Pardon me. Pardon me. Jesus, man. I was like at the very tail end of that too. Like I almost had iframes there. Almost. This is this is game design, you know. J Jesus! That was that was that sure was fun. That sure was an area. Come here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, adaptability. Dude, I have over 20 adaptability and that hit me. What happened? Dude! No, adaptability moment. What was that? That was mid-roll. If that past 20, it's fine. What the flip? Oh my god. No. Uh. That's way too high. If I look down? No. I'm washed, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, it's gonna be a learning experience because I've never done Soul Level 1 before. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I'll get to learn a few things. Not, what? Why did you, why did you attack those barrels? I wasn't even over there. This is fucking gameplay. This is what a boss fight's all about, baby. Hey, I didn't die to the last giant this time. Are you guys okay? What the fuck are you doing? Go the ironclad, I guess. I don't know. Are they aggroed on the ironclad? Like, what the fuck was going on with their AI right now? Yeah, I'll take stamina ring, you know? Crossbow. Huh. Couldn't help but notice. I'm pretty sure I was mid-roll there. Pizza, pizza delivery. I really like getting a large titanite when I can't even use it. And this is the area where you gain access to a blacksmith key, you know? It's like, you know what? For loot in this area, give them large titanite. A thing they can't even use yet instead of regular titanite. It's like, oh, that's a great idea. And you know what? Slap a titanite slab on top of that, you know? Because that makes sense. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'll do 25. Could get the serpent ring. That's gonna take a sec, but I wanna get it real quick. Just get it out of the way. I I, I will show off something kinda neat environmentally with Dark Souls 2. You know, I, I'll, I'll do the game justice when I can. Lighting is a cool thing. So if you go over here and you break these, it lights up the room. Barely, but it, it does. So I will, I will point it out. You know, I'll point out good things when I can. You know. See, I'm not all negative. Just extremely skewed negative. Oh, I see the vision there. You see how I was mid-roll and I got hit with 25 adaptability? Isn't that really weird? Dude, I thought, I thought leveling adaptability is useful. What's going on? That's really awkward and weird. Dude, just level adaptability, man. What are you talking about? It's almost like it still doesn't function properly. And it's almost like the Dark Souls series already had a way to like increase iframes. And that was just the rolling and weight system, you know? Cause there's medium roll, light roll, and heavy roll. It's almost like it's a thing that, can you fucking stop? It's already a thing that exists. So why do we need a stat on top of it? Oh, I don't know. And it doesn't even work? That's really weird. I'm gonna pass everything. What, what, why are you targeting him? I'm facing this guy. I'm facing this guy. Lock onto the person I'm fate. Lock, okay, there you go. Oh, hey. But Pardon me? And hooligans, they're like, dude, bro, just level adaptability. Oh my God, it makes so much sense why you don't like the game. You never level up adaptability. It's like... I don't like the game, and I've played it over, like, probably 2,000 hours worth of this fucking game. I, I, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, I'm fucking fat! Oh, I got a hammer! 
<laughs> oh! Oh! This is definitely a Dark Souls 2 experience. You know, this is this is really good boss. It's actually a lot of fun. What? I had my shield up? What? I had my shield up? What? Oh, I see the vision. Oh, oh, I see the vision there. See, see, it, it doesn't, the shield doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, I see the vision. Oh. Just show with Hamas. Dog, I, I actually, he might actually die. I've never seen him die in this fight ever. But he actually might manage to do it. All right, well, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, I see the vision there. Yeah. No, yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. There you go. See, this is how it usually goes. But for some reason, last time, you just... You didn't really feel like it, you know? And it, it's okay. What, what are you doing? Hello? You okay? What the f*** is that? Is AI like... Oh, yeah. I wanted a guard break thing. <sighs> go almost i the entire reason why i went to go kill mr pursuer man was so i could afford the bonfire aesthetic to get that fucking ring and i just completely forgot what i was I, all right well okay that, yeah that, that right there that's that's what we needed all right now you know what we do oh my god dude it's getting really crazy you know the, the amount of speed holy fuck you see that? 50 plus adaptability, now what, you know? Now anything the game throws at us, it's just, it's just easy. You know, all, all the shitty hitboxes we've experienced with the, with the adaptability being good, it doesn't even matter actually, because it's not real. Any, any bad hitbox you see is just, just a figment of your imagination. Hello? Bro, bro like put himself in the timeout corner. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, he decided to leave. He decided he didn't want to be a part of the game anymore, so he killed himself. You know, that's... that's that makes sense, you know. If I was an enemy in Dark Souls 2, I'd, I'd jump into lava myself if I am. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe not. I spoke too soon. Big huge chunk, here we go. Oh my god. Dude, 66. Now what I will say is I did roll through that fire and I'm pretty sure without it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I mean, theoretically speaking, if I do go kill the rotten, the rotten's free. The rotten's really fucking easy, so. Eh! <laughs> why, why do you do that? There is another thing about Dark Souls 2 that is kind of good. It's like the NPCs, like, you just walk away from them. Like, hey! The fuck? That is cool. I do enjoy that. It's just kind of funny. How's it going? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Holy shit. Alright. That was... That's fun. That is true. What? Well, I did not do that. But I guess we'll count that one. I did not do that, but all right, <laughs> that's a death. All right. <clears throat> Bye, Victor. Hey, I'm the one. It's him. It's the guy. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I was like, why the fuck did I do 49 damage? Yep. Yep. There you go. You're, you're a good boss. You're really good. You have all these moves that are like really well thought out, you know? I love Dark Souls too. You can just circle straight for the boss the entire fucking time. Bro, he's, he's throwing black shit at me, dude. He's throwing up black shit. The hell? The 
flip, man. Not cool. No. Now, why do you get hyper armor with that? No, that. How much health? You tell your total health in this game? No? Because I would love to know what health we're at, but it doesn't tell you. Huh. Player info. You know, ADP Steve, he's looking good. Uh, but, uh, alright. This has been so much easier than I thought it was going to be, by the way. No, it's the adaptability. <laughs> True. <laughs> the adaptability really helped me circle strafe the entire time fighting the rotten, you know? I, I, I can't lie. It was all, it, that, that was, that was the entirety of, that, that was the stat. Kick the box. Get the fucking box! Pussy. You can't do, you know, you know what? If you can't. Alright. If you can't fucking do what's needed to be done, you don't deserve to be alive, alright? If you can't fucking do what you need to do to survive, you don't deserve to survive, okay? You too. You too. What do you, what do you, what do you think? You dumb piece of shit. Move, Belclair. <laughs> Move out of the way. Oh my god, dude. She fucking timed that. She's the fucking goat.com.org. What the hell? So I will say, that roll right there, that, that was good. That was adaptability. That was adaptability and responsibility right there. That was good. You can, you can experience it vicariously through me. And that's what matters, you know? What is happening and why is it so loud? My eardrums, dude. Oh, for real? Oh, they dropped, okay. Oh my god, the gargoyles. Oh my god, no way. I can't use bonfire. Oh, hey. Nah, uh, adaptability is king. You don't understand. Oh, I see. Yeah, you were, you were, you were close to me. That is true. That did make contact with my body. Oh, I see. He actually is joining me this time. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Never mind. He changed his mind at the last second. Maybe if I'm better placed. God damn, I'm ugly. Nah, that's what ADP does to you, you know? It makes you ugly. ADP! Oh my god, look at that! Isn't that cool? I got hit mid-roll! Isn't that really cool? Dude, just level ADP. My ADP is currently, let's see. ADP is currently 81 and I got hit mid-roll. That's weird. Huh. What a strange coincidence. It must just be the- it's just me, actually. It's, it's, a, it's my fault that I got hit there. It's not the game has shitty hitboxes. It's, it's a me thing. It's a user error, you know. I'm really, really starting to understand. You know? No, like that roll was fine. I rolled that attack. I just wasn't locked on, but it was still a fine roll. There we go. Okay, now we kill that fucking spider. All right, it's gonna break the 90 mark. Yo, almost at max adaptability, and I still get hit mid-roll. It's really weird. Hey, buddy, that, that sword right there. That sword right there is fake. Your whole life's a lie, poser. Move out of the way. I got places to go. You know, this says it. you know, you're not ADP Steve, you know? Get out of my way. ball sack monsters you know they're like you know what we're gonna make you use a fragrant branch and then we're gonna spawn a bunch of ball sack monsters with poison and then on top of that we're gonna have a basilisk behind a door it's like ah, oh, you know that's that's the vision i said i definitely do see it the ball sack monsters eating that all right well i guess i i guess the game didn't want me to backstab that guy to be fair i didn't even want to backstab him there because I wasn't close enough, but the game thought I was, but it also thought I wasn't, because it didn't let me backstab him. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but whatever. You know, it's fine. You know, you're just not allowed to backstab the ball sack monsters. It, legend has it, if you get to 99 adaptability, you just stop taking damage. Hello? Oh, you hit the ground there, man. No, oh, well, I was trying to move out of your way, you know? My bad, I didn't even get in right there. 
So, you know, once I'm done getting 99, I can just get magic, like, like, ooze. You know, I can get the, the blue semen. I, I couldn't tell if that was Dark Souls 2 hitbox bad, or like, I just fucking know that was Dark Souls 2 hitbox bad. Okay, cool. Just the replay. Look at this, guys. The vanity. The vanity choice, you know? It's a style choice. Look, I'll get two. Look at that. Oh, I got rid of the other one. But see, now? Now I have shield out. Oh, never mind. It's like Breath of the Wild, but I guess not. Or Tears of the Kingdom, but no, it, it went away. It didn't, it didn't want to stay anymore. I like, Man, I really like this fire. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, this is so cool, man. A bunch of random enemies just as a boss. And you get a Titanite slab for it, and I really, really see the vision here, you know? It's, it's a really well thought out boss, you know? It's really, really cool, honestly. I really, I really look forward. You know, when I when I load up Dark Souls 2, and I'm like, you know what? It's time to replay this masterpiece. I, I always look forward to fighting the Congregation. You know? It's one of my favorite bosses. Oh yeah, it's this funny guy. Hey, dude. Oh yeah, he's got like the pig shield. Yeah. What's up, dude? Ow, damn. I gotta remember I have the tested ore set and I haven't leveled up health. I really wanted to die, you know. Adaptability is helping in that attack, because that attack's if I was to freeze pretty bad. Like, yeah, like I was at the side of him there and it hit me. So, I mean, I guess I, I give the game too much credit. And it was like, oh, wait, no, we are bad. Hold on, no, it, it is it is still a dog shit attack. Don't worry. I love all the, uh... Right. Blah! Oh, fucking audio! Rawr! Rawr! Um. I love Dark Souls too. Oh my God, we've become a god. We have ascended to the heavens. ADP Steve now has 99 adaptability. We're the fastest we're ever gonna be. It's crazy. You still don't sell Titanite chunks, you useless whore. All right, now, since we have 99, I mean, I don't really know what else to spend our souls on, so I'm just gonna buy a bunch of Mazic Resin. Hopefully that, like, helps us out a little bit. Pardon. What? What a read. I hate this door. This door is fucking terrible. You're like, what if we made this door? Ow! My foot! How are you looking? Yeah, come here. Oh! 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 What the fuck? Oh! Yep, still not open. Uh, it's uh, still not open. It's still not open. It's open. And you really need to level up adaptability to do well in this game, or else it would just be. It would just. Wow, yeah. Oh, they broke the fucking chest, man. Really? Hey. Motherfuck. Piece of shit. Like, I'm dead again because this asshole. You dick. All right, you know what? I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. It's fine. I'll kill him. All right? I'll fucking kill him, okay? Do you understand? I'll kill him. I'll... You break this for me. No, uh oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Uh, that could have been very bad. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm gonna die. I need to take out my weapon real quick. And then, uh, yeah. Man, I sure do love the Dragon Rider AI. It's really good, you know? You can tell how good this boss is. You know, you can just circle straight from the entire time. Whoa. Dude, this is... Wow. I sure do love the Twin Dragon Rider fight from Dark Souls 2. It's really fun and really well made, you know. Wow. Uh, uh. I'm not doing it. Hello. Not bad. 
Yeah, you can summon ops. It's like um, it's like that boss in Dark Souls 3. You used to be able to like, put your summon sign out outside and you can summon actual people. I mean, you still can, but... Another 15 minute long elevator. I love I love this area, like these next couple areas, because it's just like elevators. You know, it's all just really long elevators for no reason. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Man, I sure do love 99 adaptability, you know. Really, it really is making a huge impact. I, I could totally not do what I'm doing without it, you know. I totally, you know, it's it's truly just making a huge impact on my overall performance. The huh? Maldrin the what? What? Oh yeah, that hit me. Dude, the adaptability. Why does the adaptability fix the net code? What the flip? Bro. The adaptability. Ugh. Bro, you're following me all the way the fuck over here? Like, leave me alone. Go away. You're fat. You're fat and you smell. You smell stinky. You're stinky. Dog things with a weird tongue. They're aggroed on me from here? Oh my god. Oh my god. How? You're all the way over there. How are you aggroed on me? Jesus, man. Oh! <sighs> I love the Shrine of Ramana. It's such a fun, good area, you know? They're like, what if we just have enemies that hit really hard? Along with, like, enemies that, like, there's, like, 15 fucking enemies that just spam spells at you. See, why aren't you two shooting at me? But from all the way over there, she was. I'm standing right in front of both of you. Oh, just level adaptability more and stop complaining? You know what? I You're right. Oh! Alright, well. See, I tried to roll there. Never mind. See, yeah, I should have leveled adaptability more. Maybe it would have helped. That some of you can just really grasp what I'm. Holy fuck! How did that. Where is she? Where is she? Where? She's not in. How did. Like, what? Wow. Wow. <sighs> What? Why do he stop? Why do he try to go around where he can't even? Why do he try to go around? He can't even get up that way. What is his AI doing? Oh, one of them aggroed over there. Oh, okay. He just he didn't feel like joining in last time. Oh, I see. That wasn't meant to be a backstab. It just wasn't meant to be. You know, it's it's fine. I just, I'm like right on their back, but it, nah, it, just, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, froggy. Oh. Oh, okay. Dude, if only I had more adaptability, you know. Bro, are you gonna like function normally? Like, what's going on with you? Oh, dude, that adaptability. It, that 99 adaptability really helped me avoid that attack that didn't hit me. I must be playing the game wrong. Can I just run? Oh, okay, it still hit me. Alright, cool. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, it actually, it just still hits me. That's fine, even like when I run away from it. Yeah, uh, well, I'll try again. Alright, that time it didn't hit me, and I was in the same distance away from it, but, you know, it's fine. The hitbox is good and makes sense. It's perfectly fine. It's it's a me problem. I should just have more adaptability. I suck. Not the game. No. You just level adaptability, bro. That's really all I needed to do there. It's like, the stats just really needed to, like, make the, like, the experience actually, you know, good. You can really get a feel for, uh... The, the really good amount of goodness that the game becomes. The really good amount of goodness, you know? That the game starts to actually, you know, envelop once you really truly, truly adapt, you know, to, to what Dark Souls 2 is meant to be. You know, instead of having like a really good weapon that does like 
400 damage right now and good health and I can attack more than three times while two-handed without, you know, running completely out of stamina. I have 99 depth ability. You know what that's allowed me to do? Beat the game slower, you know? And still get hit by things that I shouldn't be getting hit by. Dude, he's, you, you can tell the adaptability is helping. You know, right now, like, I'm just doing a fuck to damage, but it's all, it's all, you know, the responsibility of the adaptability. It's all because of the adaptability. You know, it's not because I'm just, you know, I'm just using my weapon and, like, just dodging him, you know, at the right times or anything like that. It's because of the adaptability, you know? Ooh, game. See, that's what I'm saying, fish. Fish! It is helping, though. Like, in this fight specifically, there's a lot of instances. At least a couple that I've seen where I probably would have gotten hit if I didn't level it up, but... <sighs> ooze on me, bro! Come on! The magic ooze, dude. Let's go! Let's go! It's fucking, like, smurf cum, you know? It's delicious. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, if I had more adaptability there, it would have been fun. Look at this. Isn't this really cool? Yeah, like, isn't that weird? What's, uh, what's happening here? It's not, it's not that. Well, ow, you fuck. God damn, dude. Nah, dude, that's that's good. That's good game design, you know? All the, like, the ten fucking enemies that do a fuck ton of damage. That's good game design, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Really, really good engaging boss fight, Dark Souls 2. Really enjoy it. It's so fun. It's so fun. Dude, adaptability is so needed, man. We're at the final boss, dude. It's all you actually need. You just need 99 adaptability and then the game becomes easy, you know? If I if I spent my hard-earned souls on other stats, like, I'd be doing more damage and I'd be able to take more hits and things would die quicker. But since I leveled up adaptability, it took me longer to beat the game because it's a needed stat and you really need to use it in order to actually, you know, truly experience Dark Souls 2, you know? You really, you really need it, you know? Like, cause you know, without it, like, what, what, you know, what happens, you know? I beat the game faster, like who wants to do that, you know? It actually makes sense. Why would a Dark Souls 2 fan, you know, want to beat the game faster? You know, why would they want to do more damage and make the game easier on themselves? When you can just have 99 adaptability and actually spend more time playing the dog shit game. You know, and actually it's starting to make sense. You buff. That was really close. Why are you aggroed on me, whore? Get off of me. Ouch. Damn it, dude. Adaptability did help there. I will recognize that adaptability did help me not get hit again there. Uh, I'll call it when it happens, you know? I, I'll be fair. I shouldn't have been fair. I, I shouldn't have been fair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I shouldn't have gave the game that one! Because that didn't f this game's good. The hitboxes are good. I have 99 adaptability. I, you know what? Honestly, I should have had more adaptability. That was the problem there. I should have leveled up past 99. Yeah, no, this is really good. Look, we, we have them. We have them for the best final boss in the series. Man. You know, honestly, what's what's worse? Like, I, I, like actually thinking about it. Because, like, people have a issue with Gwen because you can just fucking parry him four times with Tarnet Ring and he dies, right? Are we giving the game that one? Was that, was that fair? Was that fair? Was that a fair hitbox there? Because I don't think that hit me. 
I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck 32 with some change. I don't think that hit me. I, I, I don't, I don't think that made contact with my body. You know what I mean? But as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, you know, what's worse, you know, a guy that like is pretty much fucking dead already, and you can just circle straight pretty much, or you can just parry four times, right, and he dies, which like, yeah, it's not the most fun fight in the world, but it's like, it makes sense, right? Like, he's, he's like, sacrificed his entire fucking livelihood, right? You know, but Nassandra, like, she's good, right? The reason she's good in a fun fight is you can just circle straight for the entire time, right? It's a really engaging fight to take a part in, you know? But I mean, you know, it's weird because, like, she wouldn't be able to do that much damage to me if I just leveled up my health instead of leveling up adaptability, which is completely useless in this fight, considering you can just circle straight for the entire time, you know? If I, if I would have leveled up adaptability more than I have already, I, I would have beaten the game, you know? Oh... Dude, that is Dark Souls 2 with only leveling up adaptability. Technically a soul level 1 run except adaptability because it's the only stat you need to play Dark Souls 2. I couldn't have beaten the game faster if I tried, you know? If only, you know, if I leveled up health and, you know, stats that make me actually do more damage, that would have, you know, that would have made the game harder actually. You know? That would have that actually would have made the game uh, you know, an intolerable experience, and I would have, you know, been here forever. Don't, you know, excuse all the times where I had 99 adaptability, and I would still get hit through a roll, or, you know, hit behind me, or just, you know, hit in weird ways where, like, it doesn't make any sense, but the hitbox is bad, so the game's really fucking dog shit. Excuse all those. If I leveled up another stat, it would have made the game harder. That's just a fact, you know? You know, I, that that's that the moral of the story is 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 never never level up any other stat you know you only need adaptability to beat the game the three roll types you know the heavy and the the medium and the fast who needs them you know why do they exist oh for iframes during a roll well what if we had a stat you know that made it even easier to still get hit through your rolls you know why you know who needs more health, you know? When you can just, you know, heal faster. You still heal slower than the other games, than every other Souls game. But at least you can heal slightly faster now, with this 99 adaptability. Who needs it? Who needs strength? Who needs more weapons, you know? You know what else we need in Dark Souls Scholar of First Sin Edition? Two credits! Because you know what? Not only are we, you know, right now, we're watching Scholar of the First Sin Edition's credits. You know what? You know what's after this? The original Dark Souls 2 credits. Because you know what? Why, why not do a throwback to the other game? You really showed everybody that adaptability is the only stat that you need. Now do int only to show how bad it is. That's true. Yeah, if I just level intelligence, it just, the game's unplayable. It's so bad. It becomes so hard. If I just were to level intelligence and then use magic the entire game, it would take me, like, two hours. Like, that's so long. Compared to the four hours and, like, 15 minutes it took me this time. Like, if I just leveled actually, like, a useful stat, it would have taken even a shorter amount of time. Isn't that weird? Dude, it's like, it's almost like adaptability shouldn't exist in the game and they should just have good hitboxes, you know?